Hi all, my name is Praveen Balan. Today we are going to speak about Zoom. We are going to discuss a feature which is called breakout rooms. Breakout room is one such a wonderful feature that you can make use and it is available for everyone who have got a registered Zoom account. At the end of the video, if you like it, do not forget to share it and also subscribe the channel so that you get notified on the new videos that I'm going to come up with. Breakout room basically allows you to enable split the participants into different groups. So basically you will have a main session and you will have small sub sessions inside the Zoom meeting. So you create a main meeting and once the people or, or the participant we call it in Zoom's language are joined and once the main session is over uh, they are going to split into different small sections or small groups for that we will use Zoom breakout room. You can either assign participants into this room automatically or you can assign them by manual or as a third option you can also allow the participant to choose their room of their choice. When you start a meeting, if you do not see the control breakout rooms among the control buttons that is available at the bottom of the team's meeting, either you have not enabled breakout room feature under your settings. So in this view, if you want to still see the breakout room, if it is already enabled by you, you can click on more option and wherein you will find the additional buttons which are not displayed on the screen because of the space available in the control panel bar or control bar if you have not enabled breakout room all you need to do login back to the web zoom interface with your registered account and under settings go to meetings advanced settings and enable breakout room also ensure that you checked allow host to assign participants to breakout room when scheduling option we will see why we enabled it in a short while so once you've enabled it and if you start the meeting again, you will find the breakout room option under the control button section and wherein you can start creating rooms and assign the participants manually or automatically according to what you have selected. I have got only three participants. Even if you have 300 or 3000 participants, the process are the same. When you click on the breakout room button, you will get options to manually or automatically or allow the participant to choose their room options I'm I have gone with manual option and I'm going to create a demo room and I'm going to assign one of the participants in this meeting to join to the breakout room To enable the breakout room for the participants, you need to open the room. Once everything is set, click on open the breakout room and if there are participants who still are not assigned for any room, they will not find the breakout room option in their Zoom. Only the people who are assigned with one of the breakout room or if you set it to automatic or if you allow the participant to choose, all will see the breakout room. But if you decided to go with manual and you only assign 10 of them out of 100 only those 10 will be asked to join to the breakout room the others will not see the breakout room options but as a host you can join to any breakout room during the course of the meeting so you do not need to be assigned a host or a co-host to any room they can easily switch between the rooms anytime they wanted so as soon as we open the room as you can rightly see, see it in the screen that one of the guests I have assigned the guest one to the breakout room demo room and he is going to get a prompt something like what, what is being displayed in the screen it might be slightly different if you're using a mobile device or on a PC I am using a PC here and also on a Mac and the experience are almost the same but at the end user is going to be asked to join to the breakout room if you manually assign them 
if you allow the participant to join they will see a breakout room button on the screen and they can choose the room that they wanted the moment that they click on join room they will be part of the breakout room they will be out of the main session and they will be part of the breakout room so once the breakout room period is over for example that we decide that we need to close the breakout room as a as a host or a co-host you can come back to the main session and then click on close all the rooms so when you are closing all the rooms the participant is going to get a certain period of or certain amount of time uh, usually by default it is 60 seconds but in my experience a uh, 30 seconds would be good enough unless you have a reason to keep the room open for the other party to take an action it is also important to mention an option called broadcast messages for example once you have 100 participants and they all move to different breakout rooms you still need to send a message to all of them you can use the broadcast message option which is available in the options or in the features of breakout rooms and then you can close the room the rooms will be closed only once everybody is left or the countdown gets back to zero so that's how the breakout room exit works so there are certain features or certain settings that we can enable on a breakout room but these settings most of them can be only set before you open the room so ensure that you gone through all these settings before you opening the zoom breakout room so the first option allow participants to choose the room so you created many groups many rooms virtual rooms i would say instructed the participants that you need to choose this room then you can choose this option allow participants to choose the room so once you enable that you don't have to assign the participants to individual rooms instead they can use the join button inside the breakout room the second option they allow participants to get back to the main session for example there are certain scenario where you do not want the people to come back to the main session automatically until you decide them to come back so in that case you should uncheck that option and the next option breakout rooms automatically close after 30 minutes for example you have a breakout session from the main session that is only lasting for 30 minutes you can set the timings well before you opening the room so that at the end of 30 minutes all the rooms will be automatically closed you don't have to do a babysit and close the rooms so the next option how long the countdown needs to be displayed to the participants inside each breakout room if you remember that we have enabled breakout room feature in the zoom settings from the browser that you also have we also have enabled something called a tick mark allow host to assign participants to breakout room when scheduling this feature helps us assigning the participants even before we start the meeting when we schedule a meeting you can create rooms and assign certain participant if you wish to do so and in case if you want to put it back to default before you end the meeting you have something called recreate button and there is an option called recover to pre-assigned rooms that will recover the breakout room settings back to the pre-assigned settings this will be really handy if you have recurring meetings with pre-assigned participants I must say one thing is like the Zoom breakout room feature is super simple to use it and it is available for every single individual who have got a registered Zoom account. Enjoy using breakout room. I'm sure that you will have more and more new suggestions of using breakout room in an effective manner as and when you start using it. If you like the video, do not forget to subscribe the channel, do share the video and if you have any queries do not hesitate to write it in the comments i will be more than happy to answer you it is time for us to wind up and i'll be coming back with another video very soon till then this is praveen balan signing off bye